Welcome back, everybody. All right. So one thing we can do is we can actually give attributes to uh, any one of these tags here. Now, for example, let's just take the header one tag. And uh, what I'll do is before we do that, I'm just going to put the paragraph tag in here. And the reason why I'm doing that is, uh, is just usually see the header one in the paragraph tag together. So watch this. If I type in style, Okay, and the word style is actually really important here because what we're doing is we're really stylizing the text here. So what we can do is we can actually go style and then we can go equals, okay, and then we can go color, colon, and then we can type in a color name. So you'll notice that uh, everything uh, has gone red. If I type in another quotes here, everything goes, goes well here. Now, when you're working with style tags, uh, the format is style equals, and then you need to put quotes. And in these quotes is going to be uh, a property of what you're going to change this text to. So in this case, we can change the, the, uh, the style and the color of the text to anything we want. So let's try orange and see if that works. And guess what? It does work, okay? We can try blue, right? We can try maroon, right? And you can see it all works. Okay, I like orange personally. All right, there we go. So now you can see that header one is orange. Now, can we do this uh, to the paragraph tag? And you'll notice how none of the other texts have changed color. It's only in this H1 tag. Now watch what happens when I go ahead and I put in another H1 tag. I'm gonna say another header. Okay, and we're gonna go slash H1. And you'll see that another header is not an orange and because we haven't told it to do orange and again that's really the essence of computer programming is that you tell the computer what to do we've told this h1 tag to go and change the color to orange but we haven't told this h1 tag to do that so it's not going to do that now again with um with web development a lot of back end has been set up for you so if we were to do this in let's say something like c plus plus there would be a lot more programming to do okay so the other thing you can do um, is you can actually go and change the font as well. So again, we use the same format and any, anything you want to change here is really different here. And what we need to, do, need to do is type in font family, okay? And colon, and we can type in courier, just like that. And you can see that uh, it changes the font family to courier. And um, that, that's actually kind of cool. Um, so that's essentially it, really. Uh, you can change it, the font family, you can change a whole bunch of different uh, things. For example, uh, if we go here, we can go to style. And again, you always need the style equals in the two quotes. And sometimes I like to just uh, type in the two quotes. And we can type in this background color, okay? And what are we gonna uh, change the background color to? Uh, let's change it to orange, okay? And there we go. You can see that the background color is now orange. Um, and, that, and that's actually kind of cool. Um, so the way it works is that there's going to be the style and you give it a property and that that's essentially all you need to know with uh, with style points. Now there's a whole bunch of other properties we can do, but for the most part this is uh, this is just the basics of it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.